And with that, it's time to go racing. The green flag waves at Watkins Glen as the Daytona prototype field rockets away. Wow, Max the Act was on the throttle early. Look at Alex Popoff slides into second. Nice and clean for oh, oh, Pop out of the inside in trouble, maybe, for Max Angelelli. Oh, Pop the contact. contact with the 99. Argy Bargy on the first lap of a six hour race. Here come the GT machines. Angelelli's got a problem. I believe he does. He is dropping like a stone through the field. There's the 31 of Eric Curran. You heard about their problem at Mid Ohio, for which they were given a time penalty. They have a lot to prove. Oh, look at the Audi. Whoa! That's the top of the S's. That's insane. You don't touch anybody there. Felipe Albuquerque behind the wheel of the Audi machine, forcing the issue. And look at the stack up as a result. Here comes the Turner. BMW up the outside and contact again. Cuts down a tire possibly. That's yeah. the 93 Gunter Schaldach. Yeah, definitely some tire rub at least there on that right front corner. Drove on down the road a bit. Here's where well, it started. Down on the toe of the boot, either losing the oil line or blows an engine, starts oiling. You see the oil on the racetrack behind the car, starts oiling down the track, and of course, it makes it pretty slippery. Caught out the number 38 of Spencer Pompelli. Comes and the 80 car. Great to see True Speed back in the series, but uh, Hacker goes around there. Yeah, that car's been quick all weekend, Bob, and uh, they were one of these teams. Remember, the DP field was set by points because we got some rain between the GT session. Was selling. Look at this mess. Whoa, That's that the lead. Great. That's the lead. <laughs> Ricky Taylor split wow. the GT car. He did exactly the right thing. What a pass. He read it perfectly. He said, there's room to the inside. I'm going. And here comes Max on pop-off. This could get ugly. Yeah, now, <laughs> yes, it could. Oh! oh. Fogarty gets into the side of the two car, and Scott Pruitt And here comes Cameron. Basic. Cameron, Cameron up the inside might get both of them. Beautiful run. Move. He goes to second. Wow. Cameron's up to second. What a move. Well Red done. Up beautifully. Rojas almost got on the throttle too hard down there at the toe of the boot and slid into the side of the Ferrari. He was passing. Oh, he locks it up. That's a big no. lockup. No, that could be trouble. There's something broke. It's an issue. That's a big issue. He had a problem in the same area of the racetrack two or three years ago, Dorsey. Oh, now he's going nice to get stuck in the gravel. Great battle here. This is for the lead. Siegel currently holds it. Curran wants it. Looks to the inside. Oh, oh the Ferrari stepped out. Yeah. Almost got in trouble there. He Remember? was late on the brakes there, and the car was dancing on him. There's a pass for third place in class. The nine going around the 01. That's nice and clean and easily done. Yeah, but Frizzell, that car was really quick at mid-Ohio. They had a couple of pit lane speed infractions. Otherwise, they had the fastest car in that re this race. And look at this. Angelelli forces the inside. Osnegri has nowhere to go. Let's listen. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> man that is wow. the most expensive noise. It's like a bunch of pebbles in a coffee can. Safety car is in. Green flag is out. And we are racing again at the Glen. Oh, the oh, got a big oh, jump there. Pop it. Contact. Yeah, Sarazan tried to defend that inside line a little bit too late. Barboza bumped his way by the 99 last year to win the race, and now he's trying to bump his way back to the lead as we approach halfway. And there's the 57, John Edwards. Robin Liddell started the car. Two-man driving team in this six-hour race, but they will be the leaders at halfway in GT. That's the race leader, the 57 of John Edwards just gone off your screen. And here, this is for second. Ferrari gets it. Yeah, he does. He just had a great run up through the S's and got a great run on the wheeler machine to take that pass. It's a learning curve for him. You see if Sarah's had a little bit wide there through. He was. He was but he's sliding. got the lead, I think. I see him in front of both Action Express Yes, he does. Yeah, he, he has, has the, got lead. the lead. So as I said, he's a quick study. <laughs> yeah. Valiente was really impressed. He said, yeah, I, I had fastest lap today, but he said, remember, Stefan hasn't been here before. I think he's going to be right on the money come race time. And... Uh, on the number three here, it's pretty tall as well. So not only does it help with overall balance, but it helps with rear tire degradation. Go, 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 go. Somebody Sarah blowing up. Back underway. Somebody yeah. blowing up right in front of the leaders here. It's the 38 GX Porsche, I believe. Wow. They got through. Yep, the BGB car. They got they... through it good, but boy, I was really concerned when I saw all that smoke all of a sudden. Didn't know who it was. I knew the leaders were coming. Wow, how, how ironic. Jim Norman was talking about the fact that they should have the durability and the Mazdas were struggle. We saw the 70s issues early on, and now the championship leader has look problems. Oh, look and at that. And here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell you what, Sarah says uh, going to have to learn these restarts a little bit. The Action yeah. Express boys keep leaping around now him. Now he's going to try the outside. Wow, That'll work. that. 
That, that is cool. cool. That is great racing. Let's see what he Second does. Car in line. Oh yeah, he's going to get some help. Yeah, it's, it's inside the three. Was there contact? It was a little bit on the word has just come from the stewards that the number three car will be penalized with a 60 second oh. stop and resume for that contact with the X Express number five. Wow, we wow. just saw some action there <laughs> in the SSP at Catherine the eight machine. Woo. Watch, Watch this the red car too. Up. It's a big stack up. They try to go around the outside. Watch here. Oh, I mean, that's in the dirty part of the racetrack. Fogarty way out wide. Here we go. Rain on the road. I've been looking at the radar. It looks Thomas like keen. It'll be intense, but it will not last for a long time, it appears. Well, it's moving really fast, but we're not to the heavy part of it yet. No. That was for the lead there, boys. So Lee Keen takes that Ferrari to the front. Now do we have contact? Watch the 01. And the GT. Ooh. If it was, it was just a little bit easier. They have a wider tire in most cases. Oh, oh he's oh. running wide there. Oh, look, look at the Porsche just slide for him. The 44 just slid right across his bow. And that's Richard Leitz, remember. This is a curveball for sure. He was a contender. Here he goes Throw right the here. Boot. There yeah. goes Ricky. He was looking to the inside of the ESM Ferrari and just went straight. No damage, even though he hit the wall. There's the 99 comes in right behind him. Of course, Charles this is Fogarty. what always happens. And sometimes also when you see a car off, you lose your focus yeah. just that little bit, and it's enough to make the difference as well, Dorsey. 63, same exact scenario. Jeff Westfall. Watch this. This is a replay of the pass by the 10 car down the inside of Valiente. Oh. Got up on the curb and uh, bumped in a turn to 10. Angelelli and uh, Valiente were teammates a few years ago. Two wins in a row. Yeah. Oh, there's a problem there on the 01. Yeah, there was something he left, left in. He split the fuel nose there. That's a penalty. It's going to be a stop at wow. home for 30 if they saw it. It's a battle for the lead right now, Dorsey. We had the 57 pit and make their strategy call and topping up with fuel. Lally leads from Lee Keen still. Let's see what happens here. I just looked up and it happened. Here's the five car coming. Oh, five Fittipaldi runs gets... wide. Here comes Negri. He has to take evasive oh, action. To go. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, so yep. well, it almost happened because why? when he was headed for pit lane, watch mm. this Audi. That's the incident I was talking about. I thought maybe we might see our sixth full course caution. Right to the line it will go. Fittipaldi, Valiente, Action Express, number five. Goes two for two at Watkins Glen. Well done, boys. What a race. What a fantastic motor race. Second straight race uh, victory here at the Glen for Jao Barbosa. First for Fittipaldi. Wow, that was close. Great performance by Eight Star as well. That was really, really tight. Two tenths of a second as they crossed the line. Tell me Michael Valiente shouldn't be in a ride full time, and that kid can pedal. Absolutely. There's the leader in GT, Robin Liddell, bringing around the Stevenson Camaro he shares with John Edwards. This will be the 22nd career class win for Liddell. I would say so. Robin Liddell faces the checkered flag. Victory for Stevenson Motorsports. There's John Edwards on the right. They've been on a roll. If it wasn't that bump in pit lane at Mid-Ohio, it could have been five straight. That is amazing with the level of competition in the GT category.